this time I'll be sweeter. And our love will run deeper. And I won't mess around. I won't let you down. Have faith in me. You got to have faith in me. Since you've been away. I haven't seen the light of day. I'm lost without you. Can't find my way. So won't you please be fair and let me show how much I care. Come back to me and answer my prayer. Come back to me, and I'll guarantee your the tenderness and love you will ever need. This time I'll be sweeter, oh, and our love will run deeper. And I won't mess around. I won't let you down. Y'all remember that? I want to give a shout out to Angela Bofield. Wow. I don't know if she's still with us. But you in my spirit today. And I want to thank you for the kindness and beautiful music that you left us. Um. This time I'll be sweeter. That's deep. All right? That's deep. And I wish, I wish a lot of us can um, adopt that mantra. Because we could, we wouldn't be where we at right now. It's crazy. Because love got each and every one of us here. Love. <laughs> but we can't get along. <laughs> That's interesting. That's interesting. Let me get to this story. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Major. Um, and I'm going to make this video uh, a little uh, sweet, <laughs> a little short, a little sweet. But I'm so concerned about the abuse that not only um, have we taken as a society, but when I bring it, you know, more even closer to us in terms of um, on a tribal level. Our abuse and our trauma bonding is so, so freaking deep that it, it always makes me say, as far as I'm concerned, I don't concern myself with saving all of y'all. I can't save nobody but myself. And I want you to understand. And if everybody is to do right by they self. Okay? Don't even, if you was to do, if every individual is was to do right by themselves and teach their family to do right by themselves, then we wouldn't have any issue amongst us. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It's like what Michael Jackson said to you when he said, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. You know, as 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 a trauma bonded unit, we have a serious problem. Our house is burning down 
I mean, it's it's almost yeah, it's almost equivalent to yeah, our house burning down, right? And we're standing in front of it, looking at the guy across the street, saying, "Hmm, look at him. He's watering his grass." Okay. And if you turn your ass around, your house on fire? Okay, so I'm saying this to say, when you have become so trauma bonded, then up is down and down is up, and you don't really know what abuse is because you've been abused your whole fucking life. So you don't know what it is. You don't even identify it as abuse. Okay? And I'm, I, and I'm saying this because it's too... Uh, 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 situations um, that have got me so far over the top that it's just pitiful. And if it was my daughter, because I've lost a sister to domestic violence. You understand what I'm saying? I had a sister whose nigga killed her. Okay? Because she wouldn't stop. Because she didn't tell because she thought hey that was an isolated incident let me tell you one damn thing anybody out there for all you young women out there that could be my daughters that could be my nieces that could be my baby sister if somebody shoot your ass you don't owe them shit do you understand me i want you to hear me good it is not being a snitch to tell on a, a person that's supposed to be your lover, your boyfriend. It ain't like you out here getting robbed either. This is supposed to be somebody that loves you. And you're supposed to love them. Okay? Anything you love, you're not trying to hurt like that. You're not trying to shoot her. Because ain't no love in it. It's possession, it's control, it's all those things that's negative on the Richter scale, baby. And I want any little girl out there. Understand me. If you let somebody get away with beating you up, it's going to escalate. The next time, it's going to be a punch in the eye. The next time... It's going to be where y'all are both pulling guns on each other. If you like my sister. My sister was tough. She liked to fight even though she wasn't knee high to an end. She, they both got pistols on each other. Okay? So, what I'm trying to say is, next time you're king, next time, you will get dead. So what I'm trying to say to y'all is don't bond with nobody. Understand how a lot of, of us get together with people. Um, and this because your father was a drunk um, and her father was a, a, a drug uh, thing. So now you got two left shoes popping together. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that y'all should have worked out on y'all own before y'all tried to get together with each other. And somehow we don't understand this concept. Okay? You want somebody that's not damaged. Okay? Because you got to work on your other on your own. Otherwise, you're not even worthy of being in a relationship. And especially producing children. And you got all that drama and trauma inside you. Your mama made you turn tricks. Your daddy beat your ass if you knew who he was, or your mama's boyfriend and molested you, and your uh 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 uh, uh your auntie done did X Y Z, and your daddy done. You see what I'm saying? These are childhood wounds that need to be worked out before we start producing children. And how many of y'all are going to be in a position to do that? Probably none. So. If you trauma bonding with individuals out there, and so then when you get shot by somebody, that's supposed to be your significant other. You having a, people write you, and these, some of these young kids talking about you a snitch. Y'all don't even know what snitching is. You don't, 
this is what snitching is, okay? Let me tell you how it go. Snitching is me and you rob a drugstore, okay? We both break camp. Your ass get caught. I don't get caught. And now, because your ass got caught, you want to tell on me. That's a snitch. Okay? So, if your shit didn't go like that, then that's, then that's in what we call snitches. Okay? And I'm older than a whole lot of y'all, but the game of snitching ain't changed. Ain't nothing changed with that. I ain't fall down from uh, heaven nowhere. I'm from hell like everybody else. Okay? So don't come to me with that. That's not what snitching is. Now, this girl, Megan, Meg the Stallion, whatever she, I don't, I'm not even familiar with. Her. But if Tory Lanez shot your ass, he better be glad you waited that long. And don't, I'm surprised that you did. And it's only because of your trauma and your abuse and you listening and, and being full of that black community shit that they think is camaraderie and snitching and what you got to be down for allow you to almost let somebody take your goddamn life and not tell because you try to protect him? What if he'd have hit you in a right artery and killed you? And you to blay it out. Huh? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This dysfunction in our community is so damn crazy. It don't matter if you're rich. It don't matter if you're poor. Um, there is a level of dysfunction that we have that is just, um, it's got to be addressed. That's why I said, start with the person in the mirror. Because if you start with the person in the mirror and start trying to fix everybody else's goddamn life, you be fine. You can't fix nobody else. You can't make people unify and get together when we all come from different tribes and families and shit anyway. We were made that way to get to know one another. But hey, all of us come from different environments, different backgrounds. All of us can't get with each other, but we should find something that we can agree on. Okay? Because how can two men walk together unless they agree? I'm not going to be going no damn way with you and I don't agree with you. You like to rob banks and kill people and I don't. I'm not going to unify with your ass. And we unify on stupid shit. Because... I see a whole bunch of people with their pants sagging, sagging down behind their ass. And they unified on that. But when I tell them, my generation say when you wear your pants like that, meaning you telling people you available from the rear. That's a jailhouse thing. So why is you wearing it? Why is you, are you, this is what you want to represent and this is how you represent it. You want to tell folks like that. That's how you want to represent. Hey, you can come get my booty. Because that's what it is for us. That's what my that's what we see, and that's what we see as y'all wearing y'all pants like that. Okay? So it is what it is. If that's what you want, if that's what you do, okay, do it. Now I I ain't got nothing to say with that. Because you 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 wearing it loud and you wearing it proud. Ain't nothing I can do about that. But just make sure. Mind understand the consequences of that kind of behavior. If you want to advertise, because women advertise too. Uh, 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 you know, I'm not gonna sit back and just get down on the guys for advertising their butts. Women advertise, right? Okay, so we got to uh, everybody that like to advertise their body parts. Okay, so my thing is y'all. I want, I want to be perfectly clear before I move on to the next story. It took me a minute to even do something like this because it hurts me so bad. Um, but I would you, really want you all to understand that you don't owe nobody a damn thing. And most of us are trauma bonded. Meg Stallion, 
You don't owe nobody a damn thing. You did the right thing. I'm glad you told on this young man. Corey. Because you need to sit down so when you, or you need to be sat down. You don't want to call the police on a black man. Black man to shoot you. A black man killed my sister. Just so you know. I'll see you in the next video.